Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. It's me Daniel. Glad that you are here today. You have seen it in the title. Today I would like to talk about mobile test automation tools in an update version. Because maybe you have seen already my video before where I was talking about mobile test automation tools and that video is already two years old and I got lots of feedback from you from the community on hey Daniel can you make a new video about the mobile testing tools is there something that has changed are the previous mentioned tools still um, valid or not something that I would like to share with you today so let's take a look what has changed on the landscape on mobile test automation so for those of you who haven't seen my previous video here are a few recapped slides that I always not that I'm always, but I would like to bring in that context again. And it's this one. Before you automate, check the following, or do the following, read that slide carefully. So don't start blindly with automation. That's really important. I mean, we have seen many tools out there being the next hype tool and everybody was jumping on it. And then while they were using the tool in the long run, they found out that this was not the right tool for them. So don't blindly start with it it's important to make a plan. So really sit down together with your teammates, with the developers, with your testers, whoever is involved in the test automation process and make a plan and then also define what are the goals that you would like to achieve with that tool. Then in the next step, also part of the planning strategy point of view is to take a look at the tech stack. So what does the tech stack look like? Is there a backend involved? What is the API structure? What are technologies used in the app? Is it like a hybrid version? Is it built by native tools and so forth and so forth? Because all that information is, inform is, is really important for you to make a good decision. Then of course, as I mentioned before, collaborate with the developers. Yeah, And as I mentioned also, I think in, in a couple of videos already on my channel, there is no single tool to rule them all or there's no single tool automation that is, is the right one for you. There's always a mix of combination that you have to use in your setup to get the best experience on automation. Yeah, So that's what I meant here. The combination of tools is always common. And last but not least, start simple. Never get a tool, being it open source, being it a licensed version and start with big complex stuff. Start simple. Check what's important for you implement a user journey from your perspective, implement same thing on the API level, on the screen level and so forth, and then see how the tool works for you or not. Yeah, so that's really, really important. So let's get into mobile test automation. There are many, many tools on the market available from open source to paid, to, to paid solutions or to licensed solutions. Also, this slide is almost the same like in the video before, but I changed it a bit, yeah? Um, a starting point can be open source tools or solutions for the native platforms Apple and Google. So this might be a starting point and there are like plenty of open source tools which I will show you in a second uh, that you can start with. But maybe the tools are not the right ones for you and they're like really good paid tools on the market already on mobile testing. And I will list later on in that video the tools that you can check up as well. So there are many, as I said, okay, I'll duplicate myself right now, though there are many paid solutions um, out there that use open source frameworks underneath as a foundation. So this could also be something of interest for you. And some of the tools also offer an API that you can use to extend it to your own testing framework, to, to um, add your own test data mechanisms that you have in place, adding your test environment and so forth and so forth. Yeah, And yeah, paid solutions offer on top, usually sometimes features that you might feel um, helpful or might be the right thing for you to do because sometimes if you use the open source frameworks that are available you have to build your own framework around it being it for reporting or like for de creating dashboards and something like that and many of the paid tools that i will mention later on in that video they will provide you with all this kind of stuff out of the box which is cool as well. hey sorry for the break i would like to thank you moropo for being the main sponsor of today's video Moropo is your mobile test automation solution to boost your test automation efforts with one single interface. You can create, plan and execute automated tests with ease for Android and iOS apps. Based on Maestro, Moropo offers powerful features and functions for every mobile tester and mobile developer. 
The setup takes some minutes and you're already ready to start your mobile test automation work. Creating mobile test automation was never easier. On the central web interface, Moropo offers you all the features you need from setting up different mobile apps to create and execute the tests. If you want to create a new test case with Moropo, just open the app you want to test. On the interface of Moropo, you will get a live view of your app. By just tapping on the elements you want to test, Moropo is recording all interactions in one single easy script for you. The great thing about Moropo is that you can change the steps or the recorded inputs afterwards too. Once a test has been created, you can immediately execute it on different devices you can select for your needs. Check out the Moropo links down in the video description and give it a try. And now back to the main video. Well, so let's get right into the iOS test automation tools and I will walk for really quickly on those tools because something that I have already talked about in my video two years ago and the tools that I'm presenting you today here that are repetitive from the previous video are still valid. So in this case, I'm focusing on iOS automation tools. Yes, and it's still XC test and XC UI test. So you can use this for UI and unit testing, performance and UI testing out of the box from uh, Apple with Xcode and you can use it. So XC test for unit testing, XC UI testing for the UI testing component. It's really well integrated into the whole Apple ecosystem. You can write it with Objective-C, with, uh, with Swift. You can execute on real devices and simulators and so forth. You can read through it. And you can also see the link that I will put down in the video description for you to follow up. Yeah, so XC test, XUI test, still valid. Um, the same thing for Earl Grey. Earl Grey is a native iOS, uh, iOS UI automation tool based on Earl Grey with XCUI test. Um, it's developed by Google, so Earl Grey is also available for Android. And um, and you can you can use it. So use, Google is using it to automate apps such as Google Calendar, YouTube, and stuff. And uh, but Earl Grey offers more than matches than your XUI test, for example. So it's it's extending the base functionality of XUI test. Um, that's already on the on the iOS side from a from a pure iOS focused test automation frameworks. We come to some other tools in the in, in a second, which cover both platforms. On Android side, of course, we have JUnit to write like unit testing with um, um, for for Android or for Java application, uh, J K applications. Sorry for that, I'm missing the wrong words. Um, and also with uh, JUnit 5 version, it supports Kotlin. Yeah, we have Roboelectric, still valid. It's another unit testing framework for Android. Runs inside the JVM without the need of an emulator, so that makes it super fast. It's really developer friendly, and you can find it in the link below. UA Automator uh, is something that is uh, also part of the um, Android Developer SDK. You can use it for driving the UI to test automation. It's an easy to set up from Android Studio, for example, and yeah, it can be executed in the emulator, but also on real devices. Also something that you can check on. Espresso, yeah, of course, a UI automation tool, another one developed by Google. It's open source, its main main target audience is developers or developers to, to write reliable UI tests. Uh, it offers lots of matches, actions and assertions for fast execution on real devices and simulators, or emulators and, and real devices. And it's similar to other tools that I've already mentioned, really well integrated into Android Studio. And as you can see, there are like much more tools available out there right now for Android and on iOS because Android is open source, so other developers already built some tools for that one. Um, so here's a tool that is new, a new tool on the blog that I haven't mentioned uh, two years ago. And the tool is called Caspresso. It's an Android UI testing ba framework based on Espresso and the UI Automator. And the cool thing about it, it adds features on top. So for example, Jetpack Compose support. You can do screenshot testing with Casper. So you have the, the possibility to interact with system applications. That was also part of UI Automator. So to leave the app context and for example, to go into the settings to change something there. Um, you have a human readable Kotlin uh, SDSL, that's good. You have a low reporting support based um, baked in. You have detailed logs and reports that you get um, out of it, like the logs, the screenshot and more. It has Roboelectric support in case you would like to combine them. And it's easy to migrate existing tests that you have written in Espresso to Caspresso. And that's, that's really cool. 
and check the link in the video description to find all about Caspresso and maybe this is the tool that you would like to use for Android. And now we're coming to tools that are um, cross-platform. And so maybe you already missed Appium and Appium was there like two years ago already. So Appium is the most used UI test automation framework for iOS and Android. Supports multiple languages, supports native hybrid and web apps, no control or access to the underlying OS APIs. So that's some drawback here. Uh, it's really easy to write Appium tests, but it's more complex to set up. So that's that's a bit the downside of Appium. It has a really strong community. That's really great. So in case you would like to get support on Appium, I bet you will find something online. So nothing has changed on that side. Um, a new kit on the blog that you may have seen on my channel already is called Maestro. I, I mean, I did a lot of videos on Maestro already. Um, it's a new testing framework that wasn't there before two years ago. So Maestro is a really simple UI test automation framework. It takes a, just a couple of minutes to have it up and running. It has a super easy YAML DSL to describe user flows. So the, the aim of us Maestro is really to focus on user journeys and to really like drive the UI from, from a user's perspective. Um, the cool thing is you can automate any app that you have installed on your emulator or on your real device. So it can be Facebook, for example. It can be any booking app, any like, I don't know what app, anything that is written, running on your device, you can automate and that's cool. Um, it offers a lot of different um, or the more features like Maestro Studio offers great support for writing the test to, to check what are like visible on the screen and how to identify objects. Just check my videos in my channel. You will find everything about Maestro. It adds first AI features already and it has a Maestro cloud for CI integration. So a new kit on the blog. Um, also something that I, I missed somehow two years ago was to mention uh, Flutter. Yes, if your app was built with Flutter, check the testing documentations of Flutter because they offer also some testing functionality to uh, test like unit integration or widget testing on Flutter apps. It has CI integration, performance profiling and more, but check the, video, uh, check the links uh, in the video description to learn more about Flutter automation. And now we're coming to some commercial tools. Yes, and some of the tools that are listed down here, like Tester, Moropo, Test Screw, Test Rigor, Mobot, Catalon, Lambda Test, Browser Stack, Source Lab, Test Sigma, and many, many more you already have seen on my videos and my channel. So if not, just Google them, like Google them on my YouTube channel, uh, enter the, one of the, the titles over here, and you find videos about the tools that you can use for mobile automation. And there are a lot of great tools. Yeah? As you can see here, I also have a playlist. Uh, I make sure to link it down below that is directly targeting mobile testing. And if you check the playlist, there are more than, I don't know, 70 videos on there. So you can find all about the different tools, how to work with mobile testing, how to establish something. Just check it out. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in there. And as I mentioned, these are like all licensed or paid tools, but they offer really great uh, features around the core feature of having mobile automation. And yeah, how to find the right tool? You maybe ask yourself, well, you can do your own research and you can check my video. I also did a video on that one because I got lots of questions from the community saying, hey, Daniel, how can yes, I find the right tool that fits for me? And this is a tough question because not uh, it's not easy to answer because every setup is different in companies, depending on tech stack, depending on the product, depending on your tooling around it. It really makes a difference uh, in which environment you're working. And that's why it's important to take some time uh, to, to sit down, to make a plan and to find and evaluate the different tools on the market to find the right one that fits best for your purpose. And this video might be helpful for you. So go and check it out. And let's let's sum up this video. Um, we're already like uh, 12 minutes in. So what is the summary of the video? I mean, there is no silver bullet in tools. Yeah, there is no. Every tool has its drawback and pros and cons. It's important to take the time to evaluate the different tools. Yeah, I mentioned it before. Select the tool that fits perfect perfectly into your current stat, um, environment and tech stack. Automation is a team effort. I mentioned, I think already hundreds of times, it's if you're the only one in the team focusing on automation, this is not good. Try to put it on more shoulders to get more support from developers, from other testers, and then it will work. Um, that's what I just said. Uh, oh no, I'm not, I'm not on different shoulders, but I mentioned here like automation should be done on different layers. 
don't just blindly automate on the UI level. Yeah, really take a look at the backend on the API, what you can automate there to really use or think in a test pyramid way of things. Combined test automation tools is important. Uh, integrate them, of course, with the CI CD pipeline. This should be a no brainer. And last but not least, I said it already in the very first uh, slide of this uh, video today start simple. Don't overdo it with it because otherwise you fail. You'll be really frustrated if you get a new tool and you try to automate the most complex end to end test case that you ever have uh, wanted to automate in your pipeline. This is not good. Start simple and then take it easy, learn the tool, learn with the tool and see what the tool can offer for you. And that's helpful and much better. And with that, we are at the end of the video. So let me know what are tools that you use and that I missed to present for you today. I bet there are other tools out there that I never heard about and it would be really cool if you can share them with us, with the community in the comments down below. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it. I would be more than happy if you would like to support me in that way. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.